This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by WeUseCoins.com Providing news coverage to uh, organizations that happen to be advertisers on the Ridley Report. Not bad anymore, dot com. Well, it can be sort of a delicate thing. You know, should I avoid reporting on them because it's a sort of a conflict of interest? When I do talk about them, do I need to take extra pains to to make sure I'm not fawning about them? Or extra pains to make sure that I'm not being too critical? I don't know, but one thing's for sure, uh, two things are for sure. First of all, I probably shouldn't avoid covering an organization just because it's uh, an advertiser. And secondly... I should not limit my coverage to fawning coverage if I do cover. To go to Lauren's house in Winchester for an indoor, i.e. warmer venue. This is certainly played out many times with Free Keen and Ian Freeman personally, both of which I've criticized quite often despite the fact that they're advertisers. Of course, they're wise enough to know that the criticisms provide them free publicity. Anyway, hopefully the same is the case for George Donnelly over at shieldmutual.com which has uh, recently started advertising and thus kind of put themselves on my mind. And ultimately, if you're on my mind for a while, I'm going to think of something interesting enough to say about you that that, that should go on the Riddler Report. So primarily what's happening is that I've started coming up with all these ideas that just sort of pop into my mind about what a company like Shield Mutual could do Options they may not have thought of for defending their clients. Uh, as some of you may be aware, aware probably from seeing the ads, uh, Shield Mutual is a, sort of like a liberty insurance company. This is a concept that dates back to an article, I guess, on the, I don't remember what, some, libertar- some obscure libertarian publication published this idea of freedom insurance or liberty insurance back around 04. And I had considered for a while when I was uh, just starting to leave the mainstream press or expecting to leave the mainstream press before too long, I thought that it might be fun to 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 to, to take that nineteen or that that two thousand four idea and 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 carry it out. You know, form the Liberty Insurance Company myself. Taking on a battery of opponents simultaneously. And I had gamed it out, uh, you know, and written up a fairly detailed concept of how it might work. What Donnelly came up with looks like it's actually cheaper than what I was planning to do. I was shocked when I saw how low his lowest rate is. I don't know how much they can do for you for $50 a year because uh, I don't haven't really looked into what the different levels are. There's a pre, I guess there's a premium level and, and a pre- premium level and a cheaper level. And I decided to take them outside the Central Federal Reserve Banking Building. And maybe the cheaper level is not as impressive as what they've been doing for Adam Kokesh. Who must have, he must be getting sort of you know premium treatment, but he's definitely you know they put Adam on the radar as an organization that is defending him in a PR context. But anyway, if they can do a, a, a fraction for fifty dollars a year of what they've been doing for Adam, uh, then it's probably pretty worth it. However, like any organization, they haven't thought of everything yet. Uh, a, a couple of ideas that have popped into my mind of things they could do that really aren't normally done to defend freedom people. Uh, one would be um, create uh, you know, animations of the things that have happened to the client. So if, if, if you've got, you know, Shield Mutual has a client, um, and let's assume that client, you know, gets roughed up by the police at a demonstration or something like that, and for some reason it's not filmed, not videotaped, what they would be able to do, maybe, uh, is is have someone animate a recreation of what happened to their customer. All right. Well, what I'm going to do then is leave slowly. This is almost never done in in liberty circles right now. I have seen, however, there's a news broadcast that does this kind of thing. I was also inspired toward this concept back in the 90s, actually, by um, a, a, a video I saw on national television where. They tried to make an animated recreation of what O.J. Simpson was thought to have done to Nicole. Uh, I can't remember her last name now. Oh, Brown, Nicole Brown, Nicole Brown Simpson. Um, when I saw that, I thought, oh, this needs to happen a lot more often. Although, again, in a news context, it's sort of iffy because, you know, this is not 
exactly what happened. It's just our, you know, our belief of what happened. Or here's one visual version of the story versus another visual version of the story. Once you've seen the visuals, it's hard to imagine that anything else happened. So it's something that has to be, you know, it's a tool that has to be wielded conscientiously. Here you see one of my viewers wielding it to recreate something that happened to me. Anyway, that's one idea, one option, maybe for his uber premium customers, or maybe for a level of customer that doesn't yet exist, you know, something, you know, maybe the current budget, which again, their, their prices are, are so low, I don't know if it would cover something like this. So maybe this would be something they could do with a, uh, a platinum, super platinum membership that doesn't currently exist. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at weusecoins.com.